Hello there my friends, Chris Marcus here with you on Thursday, August 31st as our road trip continues this week. And fortunately today I give you the good stuff, the key to eternal glory in trading success. And as you uh, may have been aware of from this week, we're still on the road. Although today, look at that, we actually made it to a beach. There's water. Nibbles is here too. That's right, there you go, buddy. And yeah, being out here, looking at the waves coming in, I figured it would be the perfect day to share the key that, well, I don't know that every great investor or trader has followed this, although I bet a lot of them have. Anyway, it's my new rule. Perhaps I'm speculating, so take that as you will. Yet, <clears throat> having grown up on the East Coast, uh, worked on a trading floor, a couple bank, or one bank, fortunately, not more than that. <laughs> Someday we'll make a video about my experience as an intern on the Merrill Lynch trading floor back in 2004. Fascinating, fascinating summer that I hope to never experience anything quite like again. But having uh, been in that financial environment for a long time, also at a certain point towards the end of the time I was there realizing there was something that didn't feel very healthy about a lot of the negative energy that was in that environment, you know, on my own things that I've had to uh, let go of and be more at peace with life at. And I think as I get a little bit older that anyone can, uh, I mean, I don't think it's rocket science to figure out what's going on in silver if uh, you get good information and become aware of the premise whether it's silver or any great investment, um, you know, I think those things we can figure out, even figuring out how to acquire capital or trading or all the technical things we're generally pretty good at. Perhaps what I would call the secret to the success is every once in a while, when one day you unexpectedly find yourself sitting on a beach in California and just noticing how beautiful it is out here, I think that's the key. Um, ironically, I came out here to see a specialist because I've uh, struggled with depression throughout my life. And, you know, it's interesting how the way life unfolds sometimes that, you know, you end up out in nature, whether it's a beach or the woods. Certainly, as I see more and more about how not just Wall Street but a lot of the other parts of the establishment work and the way they've got us glued into computers and phones and, and certainly I'm, I'm not excluding myself from this group either but a lot of things that you know people 200 years ago if they were watching us if they had TV or, or something like that and just noticing the frantic way that we live often and certainly with money and investments uh, that can often happen too that's certainly one that I've had to learn a lot over the years uh, to put it in perspective I remember being excited when the guy who was training me while I was still a clerk on then the American Stock Exchange pointed out one day that one of the advantages to being in a trading job was as long as you make money for the shop, you can be as miserable, angry, or depressed as you want to be, which for someone who, uh, you know, took me a while to feel more comfortable and open and outgoing, a former introvert, if you will, that sounded great at the time. Since leaving the uh, financial industry, and at least in a corporate sense, and studying a lot more about psychology, the things that happen to the body, seeing that a lot of these physical diseases that manifest often begin with a lot of worrying or just the thought patterns and essentially that's the body's way of saying, look what we're doing mentally isn't healthy. Um, so the point is that yes, understanding the numbers, being a good researcher, finding ideas, being having the 
really the conviction when you find something, for me in this case, I've, I've stood behind my silver trade for years now, which hasn't been always so easy. Um, but again, the mental part of these things, we talked yesterday with Phil Helmuth and what he was saying about money management and how that can be more valuable than perhaps who's the best poker player or who's the best trader. And uh, I find that if I'm able to, when I'm able to appreciate more, again, let's get a shot of the beach. We made it. Hooray. So, yeah, there's all the things that we have on our mind that can be stressful and maybe we worry about, yet when you find yourself taking a break from something or... I guess another way I think of it sometimes when things don't go the way that ideally I envision, whether that's just getting the internet to work or, you know, meeting someone or someone cancels or just the things that life throws that are in or out of our control and learning to say, all right, well, I thought I was going to do this and, you know, sometimes we go kicking and screaming, yet eventually we end up doing something else and the more at peace we can be with those transitions, I mean, just think about it. If you're really angry and stressed versus you're feeling great, feeling really confident, optimistic, and good space of mind, I mean, which are you going to do better work in, whether it's trading or playing music or writing code or anything? So today, that's, that's the secret. And I'm grateful that uh, I made it here on the beach. Hope you guys are enjoying the scenery and at least bring something positive into your day. Tomorrow we'll get back to uh, more specific financial markets topics. I did see Steve Mnuchin was talking about how he thinks uh, weaker dollar is great for American trade and other Keynesian myths that are important in their own right and sense, or maybe they're not, who knows. Um, Maybe, uh, maybe I get too carried away thinking about all the different things going on in the financial markets at times. Uh, but in either case, um, you know, to the degree that we do want to understand what's going on and prepare accordingly, yet mixing in some break and rest too. So today, your homework. Go out, hug a stranger, smile, do something fun, take a break from whatever leaves you feeling overwhelmed from time to time. and whether it's the beach or somewhere in nature. Uh, just take a moment to appreciate that today. Uh, that's what I did. Feels good and be excited to get back to things tomorrow. So with that said, hit the subscribe button and we'll be back to the markets tomorrow. We'll see you soon. Thanks.